How's it going everyone? Brian here. I had a good time for the first time coming to a drive-in. I'm over here at the Paramount Drive-Ins. Just saw the premiere of Tenet here. Saying um, premiere because it finally opened near to my home. I know other people already saw it in Vegas and in Europe already for a couple of weeks. But I wanted to talk about my experience here at the drive-in for being my first time. I'd say it was pretty enjoyable. We came to get snacks. They had their own food bar. Um, they had tape on the floor. They made sure everyone was at least six feet apart from each other. So I felt pretty safe being here. And the way that people were parked at designated spaces, being well separated from each other, that was also a good thing that made me feel safe. You have to leave your car on for about two and a half hours for this movie. And luckily, we made it through. We just had to put the radio onto the right station and then blast it on, so that was pretty good. Now let me tell you about my thoughts about Tenet. Two hours and 30 minutes. That was a pretty long time. I'm not gonna give away any spoilers about the storyline or anything like that, but basing off of the story, that is very complex. Meaning, there was a lot of times where I did not know what was going on. You have uh, Robert Pattinson saying stuff like, um, well, the timeline and the algorithm, and you have to avoid explosion, and then back in time. I was like, <laughs> can you say that again? Um, English, please? Yeah, like, there was a lot of smart jargon in there, like, all the smart talk that everyone knows what they're talking about, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I'm lost. <laughs> but the action, I think that was the standout thing about this movie you have all these special effects about cars and explosions and stuff going backwards I gotta give props to Christopher Nolan all these effects and I'm pretty sure he's learned a lot throughout his different movies like Inception there's a lot of effects that are very similar to that movie and also some of their storyline details whenever people weren't talking and there was action on the screen I was super engaged that was pretty good and they try to do a little plot twist within the third act of the movie. Um, as I was following along the best I can, that was pretty good. At the end of the movie, it looks like we might get a prequel or sequel. Robert Pattinson says a certain line that infers that. And I'm super excited on where they take this next film to, if they want to make this into a franchise. But overall, I'd say I love the action, but the story, I was confused. <laughs> <laughs> if you've seen Tenet already, or if you haven't, let me know what are you expecting. And um, let me know if you're excited to watch it if you haven't already seen it. But if you have seen it, let me know what you thought. That way we can get the comments started in the section below. Once again, it's Brian here, coming in live from Paramount Drive-Ins. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.